keep this coffee mug on my desk and I must look at it 50 times a day. For those of you who can't see it, what it says is, let me drop everything and work on your problem. Does this sound like your day? Has crisis become your organizational culture? It doesn't need to stay that way. It is possible to turn around a culture of crisis and maximize your organization's impact. After hearing Erica speak, it makes me realize I need to remain in strength and flow for the success of my business. When we lead with strength and flow and not with force, the outcome is the creation of a culture built upon expectations, accountability, and innovative ideas. So what does it mean to lead with strength and flow? It means that we use our power to uplift and uphold those around us, to expand possibilities with flexibility. Rather than using our power to hold ourselves apart from others, or above others, or to hide behind our power, or to use it in an attempt to control people and outcomes. I found Erica so inspiring. She challenges what it means to be a leader, and she is a force to be reckoned with on the stage. Bruce Lee said, become like water. When you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. When you put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. In other words, water is flexible in the form that it takes, but it never loses itself in the process. Picture the ocean. While the ocean is moving with flow and current, it simultaneously upholds cruise liners. When water comes up against a barrier in its path, like a mountain blocking a river, it doesn't stop. It finds a way to keep moving over and under and around and through that mountain. And over time, that mountain is what changes as the water continues to flow powerfully and steadily along its path until eventually that mountain is transformed into the Grand Canyon. And that is leading with strength and flow. Erica brings a new way of looking at leadership and facilitation. She is definitely the person you want in the room if your organization is dealing with any kind of change. Change is the one thing we can count on. We might as well get comfortable with it and help the people we lead to do the same. Or at the very least, set up strategies so that our organizations are better prepared to respond when change inevitably occurs so that we never reach a state of crisis. There's one strategy that may sound like it's so simple that it could never ever work. But one way to effectively lead people through transitions and decrease their resistance to change is to reframe complaints as hopes. When flipped around, a complaint can provide valuable insight into the possibilities for a new and better outcome. I had the privilege to be part of a massive effort to design a new statewide service delivery system. Things were broken. People were not getting the support that they needed and something needed to change. Instead of getting stuck in the current mess, however, we took all the complaints that people brought with them to the table, flipped them around, and asked, what does it look like when it works? And then we took that vision, and we figured out a way to get from where things were to where things needed to be. And it became a reality. It stuck. I witnessed it, or I might not have believed it. And if that level of transformation is possible in a mechanistic, hierarchy-based system like government, it is possible for transformational change to happen anywhere. <laughs>